In this video, we will learn about how we can use Python script as a data source in Power BI and how we can do the data transformation and cleaning using Python before importing data into the Power BI. So for this, we need to do some settings. You just need to go to the file and options and uh, under option and setting, you have to click options. So here you can see under global, there is one setting, uh, Python scripting. And here you have to choose the path where the Python is installed. So for me, the current path is this one. And you can choose uh, this path according to your setting, right? And uh, you can leave the other setting as it is. Click OK. So let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. And here we need to write some code. First, we need to import one library. Import pandas as pd. And one data frame df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and here we have to give the path of the csv file this one and control enter so if i execute here df dot head for example the first five rows so here you can see so here you can see the underlying data the order id product quantity price and order date purchase address. Now we need to print this data frame. Print df control enter. Now we can take this code, this data frame and go to the Power BI. And here we have to click the get data, more, other and the Python script. This one connect. You need to paste this code here. Click OK. So under this folder we have one data frame df and then we have to click transform data. So here you can see uh, we have some errors here, right? Quantity ordered, there is some error and uh, same error in the price and the order date. So one option is we can do the transformation here. And the other option is we can do all the transformation in Python and then we can, and then we can create the clean data frame and we can use that uh, data frame to the Power BI. So let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. Currently, the format of the quantity order is string and we need to convert into numeric. So what we have to do, we need to write df, the data frame, and uh, which column is? This is the order quantity is equal to the same pd dot two underscore numeric. And this is the name of the column. That's all. So if I run it, control enter. So here you can see there are some issues. The unable to pass string quantity order at position 159. So it means there are some non numeric strings and we need to identify those strings first. So what we have to do now, df is equal to df dot lock. And this is the name of the column. So we have to use here. And uh, now if I execute, and we will get all the rows that have no null values. So now we got one data frame, which is clean. And we don't have any NN values here. So now we can execute uh, this line of code. A quantity order, we need to convert this into the numeric and let's execute. So here you can see, now the quantity order is being converted into the uh, numeric, right? And in the same way, we have to convert the price each column, this one. And here you can see, we have order quantity and price, but we don't have the sales column. So we can create sales column here, df, sales, And uh, then we need to multiply this column, df quantity order, multiply by the price, this one, and uh, control enter. So here you can see, now we are getting uh, sales column right so now we have cleaned data frame 
that we can directly use into the Power BI. Uh, we need to print this data frame, print df. So that's all. Copy and go to the uh, Power Query editor. So under source setting, click here settings, and uh, now we need to remove this script and add the new script. So this script will convert quantity order and price into the numeric and float accordingly. And then it will also generate one new column sales. So here you can see the data type of the sales column is string. So you can convert into decimal number or you can convert in the Python script. So you have two options, right? So you can use the same function that we have already used for the quantity order and each price that is a pd dot to numeric, right? So we can convert here and uh, click OK, close and apply. So here you can see we have the transformed and clean data that we can utilize for the further analysis. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and if you have any question, Please write in the comment section. Thank you.